Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan. The Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the most popular characters in the MCU at this point. Some of the most popular movies, some of the most popular characters, and that's all because of James Gunn and the absolute bombshell success of the original Guardians of the Galaxy movie from 2014. And which is very surprising considering those characters came out of virtual obscurity to become the juggernauts that they currently are. And there's been a ton of drama surrounding the production of the third one in particular with James Gunn getting cancelled, then uncancelled in a rare stroke of luck, and then just some behind the scenes drama. A lot of characters, like they've tried to crit cancel Chris Pratt on a half dozen occasions, and there's some other drama. It's just lots of drama for some of the most favorite and beloved characters that puts them at risk. And it seems like we, I think this is still officially a rumor inside the magic.net. I don't know how reputable as of a source it is, but they do have direct quotes from James Gunn. So at this point, I'd tentatively say it's news, but maybe not fact or guaranteed at this point. So take this with a tiny, tiny grain of salt. But we get this article here from Inside the Magic. Entire Guardians of the Galaxy cast is officially done in the MCU. And considering all the drama that's been behind the scenes for a lot of these productions, I really can't blame these actors for not wishing to come back. I can't blame them at all. Especially James Gunn. Like, you can say what you want about him in his personal life, but he makes some damn good movies. Suicide Squad was one of my favorite movies this last year. So, I wouldn't want to work for Marvel in general right now, let alone in that atmosphere that these people being involved would create on that set with how Disney would respond to them more than those people themselves. But James Gunn, Guardians of the Galaxy with all the, yeah, just talking about the first movie and the second movie, uh, a lot of people didn't like as much. I thought it was nearly as good as the first one, but I was very alone in that sentiment. While Marvel Studios previously confirmed that Cooper and Vin Diesel's characters, uh, Root and Grock Rocket, would not return in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, and both Cooper and Batista have indicated this is the end of their run as the end of the, uh, iteration on the Benatar crew. Yeah, uh, I, I prefer the Milano, but that's not relevant here. But yeah, it's kind of sad to see that they've already really confirmed that they won't be in this holiday special. I don't know how good that's going to be to begin with, but then they're saying that they're done and that's sad because they were great characters in all of their portrayals. Gunn himself has now stated that Guardians Volume 3 will be the last to Raw for the entire Guardians cast. And that is a little ambiguous. Is it like some of them will leave so it's not the entire cast anymore? Or is it going to say pretty much everyone's gone now or everyone's gone now? Like that's really ambiguous. But here's the actual comments here. The Peacemaker creator shared, This is the end of us. The last time people will see this team of Guardians. I just want to be true to the characters and the story and give people the wrap up that they deserve in the story. That's always a little bit scary. I'm doing my best. So yeah, he's trying to wrap things up and, you know, end the story. And that is sad that these characters are leaving, but in the current day Hollywood and current day MCU Disney that is around right now, I really don't want any of my beloved characters to be worked on because it's almost guaranteed that they're going to destroy them with how regularly Disney, Marvel, and Hollywood in general has butchered and debased their most beloved characters for political reasons. So in the end, I'm kind of glad they're literally even still kind of sad at the same time. The director also quipped, I'm aware that the third film in most trilogy sucks. Not always. <laughs> A little meta right there. Gunn, who was briefly fired by Disney and Marvel in 2018, his return. Yeah, just some weird drama around that. The success of John Cena's Peacemaker, which I have my own opinions about but seem to be in the minority on that, has already led to reports of another uh, HBO Max Suicide Squad spinoff. That's interesting. As for one member of the Guardians cast after MCU's outing as Drax, uh, Batista previously shared, it's our third film, we're going to wrap it all up, and it's been a hell of a journey with a few bumps, so I'm looking forward to this. Man, my cast and obviously the director, they're like family to me. This is kind of where my joint journey started. It's come for circle and I'm looking forward to wrapping it up. It's bittersweet. I mean, I've been doing Guardian since 2013 and you know when this comes out, it'll be 2023 and that's, you know, a 10 year journey. That is really interesting. And yeah, this is really what picked up his career as an actor. I mean, he was already famous before that, but what made him a mainstay in movies was this. And yeah, it'll be pretty neat to wrap it up in such a concise way with the 10 year journey. Something almost poetic about that, you know, like it rhymes. It was a terrible George Lucas impression. It's worth noting that some of the Guardians will appear in Taika Waititi's Thor Love and Thunder. Yep. 
Guardians is set to release May 2023. And it will also star additional characters. Yeah. So, I think, it's, yeah, it, it hasn't been ironed out yet. I think this would still constitute as a rumor because they even the, the actors who spoke about it didn't really confirm anything in particular. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I am bittersweet on this. Like, I'm glad that it's ending because I don't want to see them destroyed. I like some of the other characters have been recently, particularly like Black Widow. Oh, God. But it needs to happen. Sad that they're gone, but needs to happen. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.